Hello everyone. Welcome to lecture series of engineering graphics and design. Myself Ankur Patel and today in the second session of sectional orthographic projection we are going to discuss a problem of sectional orthographic projection by taking an object. So let's start. So for the given figure draw sectional front view along x direction, top view and left hand side view using the first angle projection method. So for this figure we have to uh, uh, draw the sectional front view along x direction, the corresponding left hand side view and the top view of the object. But before thinking about the sectional front view, let us first of all draw the front view, top view and left hand side view of the object. So the first and basic thing is we have to find out the length, width and height of the object. For that uh, let us assume that the object is casted from the cuboid. So here I have shown the cuboid by the red outline. So the length of the cuboid will be the length of the object, the width of the cuboid will be the width of the object and the height of the cuboid will be the height of the object. So in this cuboid the distance between this edge and this edge will give us the length. That means the distance between this edge and this edge will give us the length. So starting from this edge, first of all radius of this circle. 25 plus 45 plus 20 plus 25 radius of this circle. So the length of the object will be 25 plus 45 plus 20 plus 25 which is equal to 115 mm. Now the distance between this edge and this edge will give us the width. So that distance will be equal to the diameter of this circle. So radius is 25. So the diameter of the circle will be or the circular arc will be equal to 50 mm. So the width will be equal to 50 mm. And the height of the object will be the distance between this edge and this edge. So measuring the distance between this edge 15 up to this edge and plus 30 height of this edge which I have shown over here. So the height of this object is 30 plus 15. So the height will be equal to 45 mm. Now first of all we have to uh, show the positions of the front view, top view and left hand side view by using the first angle projection method. So if you are using the first angle projection method then top view will be below the front view, left hand side view will be in the right hand side of the front view. Now we have to show the positions of the front view, top view and left hand side view with reference to xy and x1 y1 reference line. So first of all draw xy line and x1 y1 reference line. Both lines should be perpendicular to each other. So in this quadrant we will get the front view and front, front view will represent the length and height of the object. Below the front view we will get the top view. So we will draw the top view over here and top view will give us the length and width of the object and in the right hand side of the front view we will draw the left hand side view of the object. So left hand side we will represent the width and height of the object. Now let us start with drawing the front view, the top view and left hand side view of the cuboid first of all. So observing from the x direction, the front view of the cuboid will be a rectangle having a length 115 mm and height 45 mm. So first of all draw a rectangle showing the front view of the cuboid having length 115 mm and height 45 mm. Now we have to draw the top view of the cuboid which will be also a rectangle having length 115 and width 50 mm. So first of all project the length from the front view. Now measure the width vertically and draw the rectangle showing the top view of the cuboid having length 115 mm and width 50 mm. Now we have to draw the left hand side view of the cuboid. So it will be a rectangle have length 50 and height 45. So first of all uh, project the height from the front view like this. So this, this height will be 45 mm. Now we have to project the width from the top view. For that we will draw a line inclined at an angle of 45 degree to xy and x on y1 line and from the intersection point of the xy and x1 y1 line. So draw a line from this point inclined at an angle of 45 degree to xy and x1 y1 line. Now project the width like this on this line and now take the projection vertically upwards. We will get the 
intersection over here and now draw the rectangle in this box will be the left hand side view of the cuboid having uh, width 50 and height 45. Now let us draw the front view, top view and left hand side view of the object. Now in this object we will start with the top view of the object because uh, the circular arcs is uh, directly uh, plotted in the top view. So first of all uh, show this axis in the top view. These are this will shows the center of the object. So from the midpoint of the vertical length show the axis. Now we have to show the centers of the circles. 25 mm from this edge. So 25 mm from this edge we have to show the center of the circles and 25 mm from this edge. So this will be the centers of the this circle and this circle. So observing from the top view, uh, we will uh, get the circles over here in the top view. So and the center of the circles will be over here. Now from the center, measure the radius of 25 mm and draw the circle. From the center, measure the radius of 25 mm and draw the circle over here. Now we have to show the circular holes having the same center over here. So first of all draw this circle having radius is equal to 11 mm. So measure radius of 11 mm and take center over here and draw the circle having radius is equal to 11 mm. Now we have to show this circular hole. For that uh, the radius is equal to 14 mm. So R is equal to 14 mm. Take center over here and draw the circle in the top view over here having radius is equal to 14 mm. So draw a circle having radius is equal to 14 mm. Now from this edge that means from this edge and this edge we have to draw lines. So we will draw these lines, these lines having length is equal to 45 mm. So from this edge draw a line having length 45 mm, draw a line having length 45 mm. Now from this edge we have to draw this edge. So connect this point and this point to show this edge in the top view. Now from this edge we have to show this horizontal edge and this horizontal edge. So connect this point to this point and this point to this point we will get the top view of this edge. Connect this edge. Now we have to show the rib in the top view. This part is known as the rib. So let us try to draw this rib in the top view and it is uh, seen as a rectangle in the top view having length 30 and width 10 mm. So from this edge measure 30 mm length in this direction and measure the width of the rib which is 10 mm. So draw a rectangle showing the top view of the rib having length 30 width 10 mm. We have to measure this width 5 mm both side from the center. So this will be the top view of this object. Now we have to draw the uh, front view of this object observing from the x direction. So this curvature of the circle in the front view will be projected over here exactly at this corner and this curvature of the circle will be projected over here at this corner. So first of all project this edge from the top view to show the edge in the front view. So project this edge and start the front view drawing this edge having length equal to 115 mm. So we will start with the base edge because this curvature is going to be projected over here at this edge and this curvature of the circle is going to be projected over here at this corner. So first of all draw horizontal line having length equal to 115 mm. Now this curvature of the circle is going to project over here, here exactly at this edge. So we have to uh, uh, sh show the edge over here having height equal to 45 mm. So draw the edge over here. Now we have to draw this edge because this curvature is going to be projected over here. So draw this edge up to this projection. Now we have to draw this edge in the downward direction having length equal to 30 mm. So draw a vertical line in the downward direction having length equal to 30 mm. Now we have to draw this line up to this corner because this curvature of the circle is going to be projected over here. So from this corner draw a line to this point and connect these two points 
to show the curvature of the circle exactly over here now we have to draw the rib in the front view so project the rib we have projected this length 30 mm and in the front view the rib is seen as a triangle having base 30 mm and altitude 30 mm so this length is 30 mm and this height is 30 mm so connect this corner to this point will give us the front view of this rib now we have to show the circular holes in the front view which are not going to be visible in the front view so we will draw the hidden lines for these two circular holes so first of all project the centers of the circles now take the projection of the circles so we will draw the hidden lines for the circles having radius equal to 11 mm so we will show the hidden line over here hidden line for this circle over here so this will be our final front view now we have to draw the left hand side view of the object so observing from the left hand side view we will observe this uh, rectangle over here and this rectangle will show the part of the circle the cur this curvature part of the circle is going to be seen as a rectangle in the left hand side view having height 15 mm and width 50 mm so first of all project this edge having height 15 mm so height of this edge is 15 mm so project this and before projecting this first of all mark the center in the left hand side view now project this edge and draw a rectangle showing this part of the circle now after showing this part of the circle we have to show this edge in the front view so from this this uh, this corner point draw a vertical line showing this edge now draw a horizontal line showing this edge and now again draw the vertical line showing this edge over here exactly now we have to show the rib in the left hand side view so uh, for that project the rib from the top view so take the projection of the rib from the top view now project these points vertically upwards we will get the view of the rib over here so dark this part showing the left hand side view of the rib which is going to be observed or which is going to be seen as a rectangle again in the left hand side view. so this will be the rib now we have to show the circular holes in the left hand side view so in the left hand side view again the circular holes are not going to be visible so we will draw the hidden lines for these two circles so now first of all we have to show the circle so for that project the circle or edge of the circle over here on this line now take the vertical projections and show the hidden line of the circle in this part because this hole is in this part having height 15 mm and width 50 mm now we have to show the circles which the circle which is also not going to be visible in, visible in the left hand side view. so project the circle like this draw the vertical lines and draw the hidden lines to show the part of the circle in the left hand side view which is not going to be visible in the left hand side view now let us come on the sessional front view here we have drawn the front view now we have to uh, draw the sessional front view for that we have to take the section of this object from this axis so we have to take the section at AA so we will imagine that the cutting plane is a vertical plane that means the cutting plane will be parallel to this plane and it will cut the object along this axis AA so now uh, assume the cutting plane cutting this object along this section AA so we will get this section over here so here we have shown the uh, cutting plane line because if you are drawing the uh, sessional front view in the top view and in the left hand side view we have to show the uh, cutting plane by the cutting plane line over here so we will take this section of the object along this axis along this axis so we will uh, take this section from this axis axis at a a okay so now assume that we are cutting the object from a over here or after taking the section of the object we have to remove this part that means this half part of the object to observe the internal parts of the object 
So if we will remove this part after taking the section, the surface of the circle is going to be visible. That means this part of the circles is going to be visible. So first of all remove these hidden lines because it is going to be visible in the front view and draw these lines by showing the dark outlines because now it is going to be visible because we have taken the section at A and this circle is also be going to be visible in the sessional view so first of all remove these hidden edges and draw it by the dark lines so this circle and this circle is going to be visible if you are taking the section and it will remove the this half part of the circus because we have to take this section in the front view now after taking the section and after showing the hidden lines as a visible lines or after showing the internal parts of the object now we have to draw the hatching line in the surface of the object which is in contact with the cutting plane so if you imagine that the cutting plane is going to be in contact at this part that means at this part up to this part and at this part of the circle so we have to show the hatching line over here on this surface on this surface and on this surface so draw the hatching line this hatching line are also known as the section line so we have to show the hatching line in the part of the object which is in contact with the cutting plane and the hatching line should be inclined at an angle of 45 degree to the xy line and the distance between each hatching line should be 2 mm to 3 mm now if you are thinking that why we have not taken the section in this part because this part is known as the rib and in the last lecture we have uh, discussed that the rules of the sectioning of the special machine elements like ribs nuts bowls etc so in the part of the rib we are not going to show the section because we are not going to take this section in the rib if the cutting plane is passing from the axis of the rib and here you can see that the cutting plane is passing from the axis of the rib so in this part we are not going to show the section so here we are not showing the hatching line in the front view so this will be our final sectional front view the top view and the left hand side view of this object so this is it for today thank you for watching See you in the next lecture. Till then, take care.